Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at multiplying rational expressions made up of linear expressions. Uh, so multiplying rational expressions, again, the key here is factoring, factoring and simplifying. So we want to factor each expression and then simplify uh, numerators and denominators, common numerators and denominators as much as possible. Uh, so when I look at 10x plus 35, I know I have a GCF of 5. So I can factor out a 5. And that would, if I divide each 10x and 35 by 5, that leaves me with 2x plus 7. And then if I go down to that denominator, I have 4x plus 32. And if I factor out a 4, or divide each one of those by 4, uh, it leaves me with x plus 8 times 2x plus 16 I can factor out a 2 leaves me with x plus 8 and then 2x plus 7 there's nothing to be factored there so now from here you can start simplifying if you choose to you can look at the like factors and the common factors in your numerator and denominator and simplify by uh, dividing by those common factors or you can write this in one fraction and divide and uh, simplify from there. That's really up to you how you do that. So if we write this in one fraction, I see that I have five times two here as my regular number. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply that out. And again, you don't have to. You can leave it as factored out there. So if I say that that's 10 times two X plus seven times the X plus eight that was also in the numerator all over 4 times x plus 8 times the 2x plus 7 that was in the other denominator. So I can write this all in one fraction like this if I choose to and then simplify. So I see that I have a common factor of x plus 8 in my numerator with my denominator and 2x plus 7 in my numerator with my denominator. So those cancel completely out. So now all I'm left with is 10 over 4 to simplify and I know I can divide each one of those by 2 so that just that leaves me with 5 over 2 so it's all about factoring and simplifying factoring and simplifying so that's what we'll do with the multiplying now when we get to the division remember to divide fractions you have to first rewrite the problem into a multiplication problem and then you go through the same process. Okay, so let's look at another multiplication problem here. All right, so we have three over two X minus four times four X minus eight over five. All right, so I cannot factor anything with the three. Uh, the two X minus four, I can factor out a two. Two X and four has a common factor of two. So divide each one of those by two, that leaves me with X minus two in parentheses. And then 4x minus 8, the common factor is, that's right, 4. So if I divide each one of those terms by 4, 4x divided by 4 is simply x. 8 divided by 4 is 2, all over 5. So again, you can leave it like this and simplify, or you can put it in one fraction. So last time we put it in, into one fraction, this time I'm going to leave it like this, just so you can see the difference. So as long as you have a common factor with your numerator and denominator, you can simplify. So x minus 2 with an x minus 2. Then I also see that I can simplify the 2 and the 4. Okay, so the x minus 2s cancel completely out, but the 2 and the 4, I know that 2 will go in the 2 one time and 2 will go in the 4 two times. So that leaves me with, in my numerator, 3 times 2 in my denominator, one times five. So it leaves me with six over five. All righty, good people. That is, I think that's it for this video. Let's check and see. Yep. So that's it for this objective. Um, hope you found it to be helpful again it's it's as simple as factoring and simplifying the common factors in your numerator and denominator i hope you found the video to be helpful and i will see you on the next one thank you